Hey there, everybody that here, and welcome back to that please XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. I'm gonna head back to uh, the, I keep wanting to call it the radar, the Geoscape. See some alloys and alien crystals. And see what else we're doing here on this uh, dang old planet we call home, huh? Uh, there's a special forces soldier over here. A lot of these are only a couple of hours. That's four days. Do we want to get a so I mean, we don't really need to get a soldier. But it's only 12 hours. So let's see what happens. Avenger plotting we do have course. some wrecking raiders coming in very soon. So that's something to look forward to. Uh, there it is, special soldiers. They were more than willing to rejoin the fight. 18 hours? That's how long we got? All this for one colonel? Oh, it's the loss, so that's going to make it a little bit easier. Uh, there are a lot of mutons. And collectors and cultists. Hey, I was talking earlier about the cultists. This is destroy the alien relay. Kind of want to see these new mutons, though, right? Eastern Europe. I mean, you kind of do too, don't you? So this is a break stuff mission. So who do you send to a break stuff mission? Well, Papa Bear is over here sitting on 49 AP for some reason. Uh, what do you give him for that? Uh, you, whatever you want, actually, but, you know. Crit chance against adjacent targets. Crit chance against flank targets. Uh, let's give him the crit against flank targets. Hey, let's get them both. What the heck? We already ha he already has a move where if he has crit, he has, you know, free moves. So it's like, yeah, let him crit all day. Perhaps even every day. See what happens to our enemies. You throw a bayonet on him? No, you don't. What? And then I can give him even more. But an aim penalty for mid to long range targets. Honestly, yes. Extra 20% extra crit chance. What I'm saying is he doesn't have enough crit. Honestly, at this point, I don't even know if I need the blaster gauntlet on him. Could give him some melee. I mean, he should have some melee. He's equipped with some melee capabilities, too, you know. One of these plasma katanas, maybe? Or plasma wakasashi for a little bit of extra mobility? Hmm. The options are almost boundless. Good crit chance if I gave him a knife. Yeah, I'm thinking... The mobility seems very, very attractive. Ooh, and Lightning Slash. Yes, now it's even more attractive. All right. Beautiful, beautiful. Hmm, we also have that Spider Suit available, but... I don't want to lower his... health. Maybe a Wraith Suit in the future. Or something. I didn't mention giving him a different vest, because there are... There is a vest, I can't remember which one, that actually comes with a hook, in theory. Ooh, that's also tempting. <laughs> nah, I think he's good. I think he's good. Okay. Yeah, he's he's gonna be strong. So it's fine. Okay. So we can bring Papa Bear. We can bring uh, Silly Billy, the Snipey. Gotta get him up to Colonel as well, after all. Hey, it's Rooster. They just throw him in here. Look at this land. With his uh, sword and his samurai edge beam and his roosting. All right, and a hazmat vest and uh, wait, a promotion. Oh, well, we couldn't send him in now. He needs to be promoted. Well, what the heck do you do with a guy who has a uh, sword? Guess you would build him for swords, but. Uh, I'm gonna build you later. Let me know what you think Rooster should be, skill-wise. See about making it happen. Are we really though? So are we are we diving all the way down there? Come on, let's bring we can bring Parish to this one. I know there's another 
break stuff mission coming up later. Hopefully you can get to both, but this is also a break stuff mission. So I tell you what. Let's go ahead and give him... Mm, I mean, the Metal Storm is so good. But then again, so is the BFG here. Give him Le Nuke. Let's put it in his Le Enemy. And see what happens. Alright. Parish will then we can uh, we can also bring Jack, of course. Let's see. We need to break a relay. So we don't necessarily need Hans with his half health. Angela is definitely something we could bring. I don't know if we should bring. Alright. Jack's ready to go. Vasilla's ready to go. Jim, you can sit this one out. Yeah, Chibi Girl, I think Chibi Girl could come to this mission. Let's see, where is Sin Sin should be ready to go too, right? Eh, practically. 80 out of 87 is good enough. Alright. I think some sniping could be a good option here, but yes, we need some melee. For sure. Uh, Papa Bear should also be able to do a ton of damage here. Uh... We will probably end up having more loss. There's a Cryo Keeper here. Interesting, interesting. All right, let's go. Generally not worried about accidentally bringing more lost. Should I be? Maybe, but I'm not. This is Operation Decisive Whale. By the way, very, uh, very determined large aquatic mammal as you do as you do you know when you're that big and you can do whatever you want why not be you know every decision that you make it's your decision you the smaller creatures gonna argue probably not smarter ones might but uh you don't worry about them, because they all live on land. Unless you're an octopus, I guess. Octopuses are pretty darn smart. Like, extremely smart. Hmm. Now I'm imagining a scenario where an octopus gains control of a whale. And now my brain's trying to figure out how it would do that. And the first thing I went to was a charisma check. So I don't know where, where my brain is right now. Look, I'm recording this just after waking up, okay? I screwed up. I didn't record this ahead of time like I should have. So you're actually watching this the same day I'm recording it, which is not usual for me. Okay? That's why my brain don't think he's so good right now. It happens. It happens. Sometimes I screw up. This is a surprisingly long load for this mission here. Is it, it does it not know what to do with this new enemy type? Is that what's going on? It's like, ooh, mutons. I don't want to play mutons. All right, here we go, here we go. Let's freaking go. I want to see new mutons, personally. The alien communications relay in this area is being used by Advent to transmit critical data back to their network. And that stinks. That All right, they threw it right in this mall in Helsinki. They the Let's do it. We're expecting a strong contingent of security forces. As you do. Neutralize them and secure the site. Destroy that relay at all costs. I don't know what Jack was interested in, but it was not in the direction of the mission, apparently. Oh yeah, of course, put us in a train. Why do they do this? Well, there's the brute. There's two of them. Move in and destroy the target. As I expected, Commander, there are significant readings indicative of the lost moving throughout the combat zone. Be careful out there. All right, we have two snipesmen. Mm hmm. Uh, I guess just move over here first, Parish. Go, go, go! Charge! Yeah, get out of the building. 
And by the building, I mean the train. Can do. Okay. Jack, you can actually play forward scout since you have ever vigilant. Mm, so eventually I can get you over here. Understood. How are you the first one to see something? An elite collector vanguard. Alright. I'm gonna go into Overwatch. Stay sharp. Okay. Uh Chippy, out this way. Right on it. Uh Sin, open the door. Thank you. Mm, I can move you up quite a bit. Hey, come over this way. Moving on target location. Much thank. Uh, there's Lost. Hi, Lost. Hey, Dawn. Let me Intercept Dawn, please. Ah, uh, Chibi, let's move you over as well. All right. Pop a burr. Head over to Shore. You see anything new? If you do, can you let me know? I'd appreciate it. Control. Yes. Alright. Move, move, move. Very well. Alright. Beautiful. Positioning? Slightly better. But you want to run that by me again? You, uh, kind of talked as one, like, blob of a creature. Kind of came together and smooshed your text. The verbal text. Which I think they call speech. I'm not good at it. But I heard of it. The lost didn't even move. Didn't even bother. Hey, hey, you, you really? You, you want to run that by me again? Any chance, maybe. Alright. So, Parrish. Oh, yeah, he has the bunker buster, too. Also very good. That's slapping things. Now, the nuke is special. It requires two turns. Only one rocket can be armed at a time. Once armed, it cannot be disarmed and will self-detonate if not fired in several turns. So, what we could try to do is just send the nuke right here. And honestly, who doesn't want to do that? If you don't, don't tell me. Because I want to do that. Right? I can... Okay, so I can get a rocket over here a regular rocket and a metal st so that does imply I can get the nuke over there arm it alright we have three turns to launch this sucker go ahead and uh, go into sniping mode okay. pop a bear I really don't need to go anywhere um Yeah, actually, just stay right next to Parrish. Y'all can both talk about how you like killing things. Exactly, see? Um, he's more than happy to talk about that subject. Sin, go ahead. Yeah, let's actually just stay stealthy. Okay. I want to start with the biggest boom. Okay. And you want to as well. No pretending here, okay? I mean, you can Absolutely. pretend if you want, but you don't need to. You don't need to lie to me. I know what you want. You want to delete that ground over there. What's up, Lost? How you doing? What's up, Cultist? How you doing? You gonna yell at me again? No. Okay. Beep, 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 beep. All right. Metal Storm Tactical Nuke. 9 to 35 damage. Alright. Let's put it right here. Menace 1 5, we confirmed destruction of the relay. The alien yeah, we did. Is down. Eliminate any remaining hostiles and move. Bye bye! Down. Oh, it's a banshee. Beautiful. Okay, well that's done. Now we gotta do some actual violence. Hi, Brute. Get scooting. Blammo. Easy rares. 
day. The goal now is to neutralize all the targets. Best way to do that is by neutralizing them with violence, because apparently they don't uh, they don't listen to peaceful negotiations. Thankfully, Papa Bear is quite capable of violence. Ooh, baby. 23 damage. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, well, so far, so good. Move up a bit. Remember, we're probably going to have mutons up here. And then by that, I mean we're supposed to have mutons up here. Hello. And that's a boomer, which means more lost. That's a howler, which means probably more lost. Um, that's, well, one less group of lost. You didn't need that window. Alright, here goes the boomer. It boomed. 85% crit chance from that angle. And that distance. And... Boom. That's why I said summon more right away. Alright. Surprise, not complaining. Nope, maybe. Nope, it did not. Okay. 90% with a 93% chance to crit. Then we're down to 80 and 81 because, you know, XCOM knows the truth, which is math is hard. Uh, go ahead and reload. Okay. You just spent a lot. Sin, move up. I'm going. Okay, what do you got? Nothing? Next is a great intercept spot. Because I'm expecting enemies to come this way. Fine. Alright, nice hop. I love I, I love the Viper hops, man. They're so good. Go. Alright. Give right. me some Overwatch from up here. Give me some Overwatch from up Get here. Ready. Give me some Overwatch. Actually, no, Jack, you can move. Uh, come over here. Okay. Honestly, the uh, sectoid hops are pretty good, too. Alright. What do we got? Collectors. There's an assassin one over there. There's a boomer over there. There's boomers everywhere, man. Nice. 12 damage. Hi. Yes, there's more lost. No shockers there. Ooh, look at the glowy eye, dude. All right, then. Here they come. I was going to say, somehow proc no overwatches. We are the harbinger of your destiny. We are the harbinger of your ascendance. Okay, harbinger, harbinger, harbinger. I get it. And then one of them just ran away. I don't understand, but maybe I don't have to. There's the Banshee. Every time I've ever seen the Banshee in this game, it does nothing. So I can't say I'm too intimidated. Skilled at two things, doing nothing and dying. So we'll see if that ends up still being the case. I mean, I guess look t looking terrifying is also one of the things it's good at. It, it does have like all the faceless animation and stuff. So, I guess the terrifying stuff kind of comes from that. Anyway, a lost swarm appeared. Appeared right behind the banshee. It's like her little fan club. All right, that's yeah. Just Mr. the mom and her babies. Okay. Well. Yeah, just gather up for me, please, please. I want to see you all in one very, very small position. Wow! Slap the crap out of that guy. Oh, well, and turned them into a zombie. Oh, well, there's the cultist. All right. The only one we probably have to worry about is the master necromancer. Ah, actually, there's a heretic templar, too. That's probably a problem. Hi! Oh, wow. Okay, the fact that they have lightning reflexes is also a problem. Hmm. Interesting, interesting. I did not know they would have that. I don't know why they have that. It's not that big of a complaint. 
Just mostly, enough. more of an observation. Y'all are gonna make this turn take forever, aren't you? Oh yeah, 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 get over there. Go over there with that big group of enemies that we're just staring at. I promise we won't attack in one big group. I, I, I'm guessing someone's reloading. All right. Well, we have plenty of targets. Yeah. Uh, no, no, not tear down. We have the rocket launcher, but more importantly, we have the bunker buster. Uh, okay, Papa Bear's right there. Okay. Oh yeah, bust this bunker, baby. The triple B. I'm very happy I decided to take Parish on this mission. Yeah, get your focus. I'll give you something to focus on. My ass. <laughs> oh, man. Them Templars gotta be pissed. Okay. Um, ooh, piercing shot. That's also fun on a bun. But it doesn't go far enough somehow. I don't understand. Let's see. Thunderclap, Illuminate, Hex Hunter. Deals bonus damage proportional to their psionic power. All right. The Fanatic has no psionic power, but lightning reflexes and quick draw, which is interesting. And Templar. How does the Templar have no psionic power? What? The Necromancer? Okay, the Necromancer is a little bit. But not enough to really talk about. I'm genuinely surprised by that. Anyway, use your pistol. Let's go, Hunty Killy. You silly Billy. Let's get some easy kills here. Okay, I want you to rank up some kills to rank up some experience. Just waited for Vasilla to look over so he could do that shot in front of her. Is that a Booma? I think that's a Booma. Could be wrong. Nope, that's the Booma. He boomed. And boom. Well, I mean, if we boom up that car one more time, it's a goner. That could be cool. Ba boom All right, good stuff. There's more loss to come. Okay, no pistol targets now. So in that case, let's just go ahead and use your gun on something uh, slightly bigger. Like one of these Templars, I guess. Pop one. Get popped. Deliver my best wishes to the maker. All right, good stuff. Let's see, before Papa Bear goes, because I don't want Papa Bear stealing all the fun. Go ahead and, uh, where's the biggest group? There's a bunch of big groups. This Banshee. The Banshee's supposed to be able to do something. Chance to panic every visible unit. Rending Claws. Mind Shield. And Vault. But, like I said, the only thing I've ever seen it do is suck and die. Do not actually give me the uh, chain discharge over. Okay, don't. Don't do that then. Um, Alright, well, you know what? You could fire at one of these. Do that. Ooh. That chiller, though. That's better. Alright, that assassin. We could tell him to chill out as well, but we could actually get a chain discharge over here. I don't want to hit his sin. This spot works. Activate the switch and... Activate the switch and? You're, you're allowed to finish that thought. And boom. <laughs> the effect didn't even go to the collector. It just died. He was like, well, this is the part where I fall down. And then just did. Uh, 83%. Jack, you okay? That's... Wow, dude. Are you okay? Are you sure you're okay? That's, that was a surprisingly low hit chance. All right, there we go. That's what I want to see from you. Uh, go ahead and pop the Templar next to you. Right, the Necromancer. Should probably get rid of that dude. Jack? Jack, I know you're like, what? Someone else can res too? How dare they? There we go. Okay. 
Uh, Vasilla, what do you have eyes on? No, oh, you have eyes on the Banshee. Well, that's nice. Maybe we should just use them. You also have Hunter's Mark, which is nice. Does that take a move? I'm assuming it does. And it ends the turn. Well, no thanks then. Go ahead and turn on Serial. I'll relinquish one bullet. Where do you want it? Uh, I want more than one bullet, though. I signed up for many bullets. That's that's why that's why you're here. Oh. Apparently the fanatics explode. Hi. How you doing? Welcome to this. Uh, Scylla, you're supposed to get extra moves. Okay, we got our extra move. I was concerned for a minute. Get this necromancer out of here. And to the face. That was more of a body shot, but whatever. Psy zombie gone? Psy zombie gone. Ooh, it yarked first. That's unpleasant. Okay, now shoot the big one. I don't think you're gonna kill the Banshee, but I could be wrong. Well, that helps. She did not kill it. So she doesn't get her extra move. But hey, it's dead. That's the important part, right? Shadow Shot. If it kills an enemy, you will not be revealed. Well, this is a guaranteed kill, so... Take it. Wait, you can keep doing this? You can keep doing this. Down. Nice. Can you shadow shot on... Nope. Nope. But you could lightning hands it. Which is actually a terrible chance. So it'd be better to sword bullet it. But that's also a 41. How can you even see it from here? Um... Oh, because it's behind the cover. But I'll tell you what, why don't you get behind cover too? Be right there. Yeah, what is the thing about that? Nothing, because it can't oh, see yeah. you. Okay, Sin. Go ahead and give him the lightning slash. Let's see what he thinks about this instead. Hi. Oh, hi. I did not see you there. All right, well, get this uh, grappler, too. Ungrapple him. Did you see that one? Oh, I saw that one. Go ahead and give me the intercept. Pop a bear. Take a shot. Never did see any mutons. There's supposed to be a cryo keeper around here somewhere, too, at least in theory. So we know we haven't neutralized all of the targets. Not yet. Move up. Agreement. Proper vigilance requires constant control. I mean, that's a lot of lost. They're gonna get a lot of business. Next target, please. I mean, you can see them. They're right here. They're not exactly hiding. All right, Papa Bear, go ahead and reload again. Why? Because they're gonna come to you, and you're gonna have your close range of free attacks. Oh, there's a cryo keeper. And of course, he's uh, appears this turn, and he can see it. Actually, you know, this is good. He can see us, but he's right where we can best slap him. That brute's scooting. <laughs> uh, more lost. Big shock here. Hi. How you doing? Oh yeah. Tell me all about it. I expected more than one. I guess I'm not complaining. It's just what I expected. That's also what I expected. Woof. Shot him so hard, he got displaced into the air forever. See, this is why I reloaded. It was the correct move, dare I say. I, what was that angle, dude? Oh my goodness, McGracious. Oh, baby. The bear's in the house. Not the chef. He'll be, he'll be in a different house. Yeah, obviously that absorbed all the damage. Okay, so we got a thing up here with a lot of armor. We need to do something about that. Firstly and foremostly. Open Parish has a solution. We'll see. He might. He still has some explodies left. We got the rocket. We got the metal storm. It's not really the solution I want. So I think a regular rocket's gonna have to do. Um, we could place it right here. 
Honestly, let's do that. If it blows up this little chunk of building, that's a bonus. Off it goes. Okay, straight to four. That's pretty good. Target found. Target found. We have a positive ID on the alien relay. Central, um, I got some news for you. We already destroyed it. I know, I know, you can't believe it. What do the brutes do? They attack and can potentially stun. And that's literally it. Okay. That's what I wanted to know. Mm, let's go ahead and try to get you to take out some of these lost from long range. Yeah, like that. Beautiful. Now do it again. There's one left. This is an even easier rare. Easiest rare and rare build. Okay. Body count rising. Now, give me a rapid target on the cryo keeper. We'll on keep his cryo. Then I'm thinking a thunderclap, because it does extra damage to any enemy, which means it should be a good chance at a kill against either either the brutes or good damage against the cryo keeper. Either way it wins. Get clapped. Okay, he clapped the brute. No complaints. Said, we knew it was one of the potential possibilities here. Angela, give me the chaining jolt. Should do some good damage to the cryo keeper and maybe even mounts off to a lost or two. Here goes our little friend. Hello there, bigger friend. I'm gonna zap you, friend. Get zapped. And apparently shot at. Alright, that also did some damage to the brute. And the dasher, of course. Good stuff, good stuff. Uh, Jack, reload. 100% chance to mind spin the cryo keeper. I love video games sometimes. Get him! Just mind control his ass. Nope, no dice. Okay. Well, I tried and it would have been funny, but it didn't work. Uh. Yeah, I really want you to slap that dude. Right in his stinky face. Um, burial shot. If it's lethal, AP cost is refunded. Actually, yeah. Get the burial shot on the brute. More free snipey attacks. What's not the love? That was just a warm up. Reload? Just reload and keep fighting. Yeah, exactly. Shoot the cryo keeper. Alright, you decided to not let your mind be controlled. This was your fault. Oh, she gets another free attack as compensation. If this is a crit, this is a kill. Buffoon. No dice. Ah, well. Can't say we didn't give it our best. Uh, Chippy, move up. This, the back half of the car won't explode. That's illegal. So I trust it. Okay. All right. Sin, can you come over here and just scout out the area? Seems doable. If you see anything, say something. All right, and that leaves Papa Bear, who's going to just uh, do a quick Reloading. reload. Ready. Do a quick kill. And give him the cheap thrills. Deliver my best wishes to the All hostiles are down and the area is secure. You should have let yourself gotten mind controlled, man. Mission accomplished. All right, seven max levels mean 14 ability points. Guttural English for Illyrium Crystals. Another flawless one in the bag seven and 138 damage for parish and the quickest uh it, quickest uh objective ever uh nine kills and 123 for snipey that old silly billy 16 kills and 312 damage for papa bear so no surprise on the mvp there send with two and 33 two and 22 for chibi three and 86 for vasilla three and 56 for jack five and 71 for Angela. That's pretty respectable across the board, I gotta say. Pretty strong performances from pretty much everyone. Alright. Let's head back home here and get a new soldier, apparently. Here's your chance. Uh, it's a uh, chance for the, like, the, if you want to give the soldier a nickname. I would like to if you want to, you should let me know in that comment section below, I guess. 
prevent further attacks by I already told you I just woke up, okay? The one that occurred today. My brain doesn't get started actually moving until like 9 a.m. Look, look at these two just styling over here in the corner. I love it. <laughs> With the exact same pose. These HKs really are bonded. All right, all right. After Sup, everybody? Flat, Promotion? Right Promotion. Here. We might have to resupply the bar. All right, good stuff. Four brute corpses. I think those are new to us. Vanguards. That might be. That might be new too. AP rounds. Nice. Banshee corpses and the gatekeeper shell. You and your crew. And a soldier. Sophia. Metaxas. To efforts today, Commander. Impressive. Work. Thank you very much. All right. Good stuff. Good stuff indeed. Here's, uh... No, not there. Not there. We do have the level up rooster, though. It should be fun. Deadbolt. Yeah, she is. So... Guess we need to decide what you're gonna be eventually. You have the SCP jacket! Oh, boy! Formerly from the squad. Now with our squad, hey, our behemoth leveled up. Let's see, shutdown override gives the player the ability to enable or disable the automated shutdown when the tank overheats. If enabled, it'll take damage instead of shutting down. Death spiral, rotates 360 degrees while firing, shooting all enemies around itself in a wide circle. Creates three heat and a three turn cooldown. Seems fun on a bun. I guess give me the rollout too. I'm gonna pay for that. It's worth it. I need it to be able to actually do shooting. Could be good. All right, Hunty Killy, my favorite silly Billy. Captain, incendiary, fire free explosive, fire an explosive free aiming fire round, I can read. Does fire damage and burns, can be used after moving. Two uses permission, six turn cooldown, or compensation. That's the free sniper shot if you have both your actions um optic disruption illuminate and hollow targeting blind enemies oh if that works for the fast one that's amazing hmm actually hollow targeting and reducing will could be good too give me this one i, I want that 50 ap so i guess we're also getting compensation because free shots really good Dude, he has a lot of great skills there's a ton of potential here for old Hunty Killy. All right, good stuff, good stuff. What else? I think that's it from here for right now. So we'll head back. Wrecking Raiders. This is the one where we're uh, hindering their efforts once and for all. Gotcha. Shouldn't be that tough. Maybe we could bring, you know, we'll, we'll bring in the four stealthiest uh, soldiers of XCOM, and then we'll back them up with a tank. Oh my god, 400 supplies to get that done? It bring it would bring in an additional 77. Which means it would take, like, freaking eight drops to make it worth it. At least this one gets you 94. Oh my goodness. Ooh, 155. This one will be worth it. This one pays for itself in just a couple of goes. Let's head on over here. And then, of course, they're going to send me like a fire team mission where you can only send sergeants or lower, and it'll be literally impossible to do. And then I'll be a sad boy. All right. Hammer down. Okay. Setting course for the Arctic. It's not who I thought we were fighting. Maybe they're just there. It happens sometimes. They just show up. Because they can. Alright, the goal here is simple. Destroy the primary raider base. And they think this is a good job for Reynold, and who the hell am I to disagree? Okay. Hmm, Chef Bear, you need your uh, abilities. To, well, your, you need your stuff and your things. I could give you the medical canister now. Apparently it also counts as a smoke canister. Or an acid one. Let's give you the medical one. Okay, give him some healing potential. As you do, as you do. Alright. I could give him even more healing potential, but we don't. As we don't. 
Instead, I want to give him some melee capabilities. I could always give him a bat. Everyone could use a bat. Alright, only quote me if you have to. Uh... Ooh, we have a fusion axe available? I know I'll give you one of these fusion axes. We had two of them. So why not? Hey, let's give him a hollow target or two. I feel like we should use that more than we do. Because it's actually, like, not bad. Yeah, give me more canister charges. Also, upgrade this thing, because we can. Mmm... We'll take the scope for it. Let's. Oh, Chef Bear doesn't have a PCS? Well, now he has 15 additional willpower. Seems good. Neon? Mm, yeah, we could probably bring Neon. Uh, Jack, you're you're going to sit this one out. I could still bring Parrish. I would run the risk of him being a sad boy afterwards, but... Come on, Dismas. Um, I think that might be fine. Reynold, let's upgrade your... Uh, ceramic to the nano gel I've decided you're not invincible enough so we're fixing that okay honestly this is more than all the team we need for this I feel like but oh and we have four more units too all of our stealthiest units will be here as well but let's bring the tank thankfully he uh Fits right in, as you can see. Take, he only takes up as much room as he needs to. We're in the sewers, which means we might have some limited mobility for our tank. But, we should have maximum fun. And in the in the end of the day. That's not how that phrase works, that it's at the end of the day. Uh, that's because it's at the start of my day. I swear. I swear, occasionally I can talk well enough where uh, people think I'm worth... I don't want to say think I'm worth listening to. That makes me sound more important than I am. But, uh... Find me enjoyable to listen to, maybe. That doesn't sound too bad, right? That's not that's not too up my own butt? I don't think it is. Maybe it is. I hope it's not. I try not to live there. It's, uh... Stinky. But, uh... It is what it is, I suppose. Alright, Raiders. I thought this was going to be Phantoms. And maybe it still will be. But just like other factions can just show up here. Because why not? I don't even... We'll see what happens. Right here. In the near... I did... Uh, we're in the sewers, which... Again, mo mostly limits our visibility more than anything else. And I guess it makes sense the phantoms would be in the sewers. The only thing that makes more sense would be if they were turtles, I guess. And they were... They were adolescents. And... And they had... Japanese stealth training. And maybe... And maybe... Maybe FEV. Possibly. That's the forced evolutionary virus. For those of you who are not familiar, it mutates you. If, if you're well adjusted to the mutations, you'll become a mutant that's super. If you're not, you'll become a mutant that's distinctly less than super. <laughs> and if you're special, you'll become a herald. If you become herald, well, then... You better hope that the developers don't get, or your game doesn't get sold to a different developer who decides that you can just die in a fire. Anyway, enough uh, whining and complaining. It's time to start shooting and killing. Eventually. Menace one five. All right. Target location confirmed. Move to engage. Eliminate all hostile contacts. I love this mission. The goal is literally just to kill everything. How often does that happen? The answer is not often enough. Okay, well, there is a building for them. You know, if, if Papa Bear wasn't in the way here... Oh, well, that's right. Our tank can't move the first turn anyway. So don't worry. You know, don't you worry about it. Instead, let's go ahead and have... 
Yeah, actually... Papa Bear, go ahead and move up here. I will leave immediately. Open the door? I don't think this is actually going to be sewers. I was right. Hello! It's Rogue XCOM? What's up, comrade? How you doing? It, it, name was actually Conrad, and I said comrade. I didn't really have a reason to doing that. Other than I guess I'm just feeling spicy today. Alright. Oh, okay. Give me the uh, quick target. So does, is that just going to blind him through? I don't know. He did. That's all he needed. You didn't need the eyes, right? You know what? Don't waste your ammunition. Oh no! My alarm's going off. Um, Don't waste the ammunition. No! Waste him instead. Alright, easy enough for starters. Uh, go ahead and move up a little bit more, Papa Bear. Okay, eventually, if they're stupid... Oh, hello! There's more. Oh, there's a lot more. Uh, yeah, that's... That's a lot more. Okay. Well, then. Uh... I mean, there's a lot of options here. There's a lot of op We don't want to use the nuke yet. That's playing our playing our biggest hand too early. So, he does have the, ro the shoulder-mounted wrist mounted rocket which could actually be glorious here so i tell you what come over here parish let's go maggot why is it glorious you might be asking because it has perfect accuracy which could be very helpful right here <laughs> an earth shattering kaboom <laughs> <laughs> oh, someone died to an explosion. Probably should be wearing all those explosive vests, guys. It's not helping you out of here. All right, and somehow, I mean, I know how. It's because we decided to bring them along, but uh, somehow we also have the Doom Slayer in this mission. Because they were stealthy, you see. As you can see, much stealth. Very, very slay. Sling me another rocket over here. Remember, this is a kill everything mission. We have zero need for stealth. We could literally just do this for the entire mission. Yeah, that was a very stealth rocket. Gotta love it. Uh, and then, yeah, give me the Hellfire Projector over here. Burn down this whole damn corridor. Just in case they decide to chase. Ah, you have stealth rockets, not stealth flamethrowers. Good to know. Give me the Overwatch. Okay, let's see. Elena, you can move up and actually be a real forward scout. Has ordered. You can never escape my and actually, fight. I do have other characters who can too. I just want to go ahead and get more enemies revealed. Okay. That's your job and you're dang good at it. There's more. There's old Samuel Fox. All right, Stitch, you also have Shadow. Except I'm going to have you use it to get some kills. I'll do it. Butcher, you ironically don't have Shadow, but you're also, like, our best fighter in melee. Um, head over here. You won't Cover be able to move. Yeah, you won't be able to attack or anything this turn, but it's fine. Dismas. I can get you into this room. I can't give you cover in this room. Tell you what, we don't... You don't need the cover. You just need to be able to shoot. Roger that. All right. Chef Bear... You've got so much movement. Uh, get over here behind this heavy cover. Getting it done. You can do more next turn. Neon, get in here as well. But where? Actually, you get behind a window too. On it. Thank you. And Reynold, front and center. All they need to know is that you're here and you're ready to kill what things. And also, you're kind of invincible. Um... So there's three dudes. They've made the mistake of standing right next to each other. We can't really take... Wait, maybe we can. We have Rupture Bullet, right? Oh my goodness. Yes. And... It was your idea. <gasps> Ba-boom. <laughs> One of them was only bleeding. Oh, it almost didn't reveal you. That would have been glorious. Alright. 
This must go ahead and give me the Overwatch. Reynold, tell him to come at you, bro. What's up, bros? There's a lot of bleeding out dudes over here. All right. I don't think we have to worry too much about the uh, this rogue XCOM. Maybe we do, but we probably don't. I'm pretty sure it's rogue XCOM and not like it's not Mock X. Mock X would have been more well equipped than this. All right, no place for you to go now. And they're not that scary, if you couldn't tell. Well, that's the end of you. No problem, boss. Okay, we got some on the other side. One less on the other side. On my way. Anyone else want to move up? I mean, he only has one Overwatch, unfortunately. Oh, he's taking a shot. She's taking a shot at Doomslayer. Look at that. Get it together. I'm pinned down. Here, have a move. Some major guts over there. I'm telling you. Okay, where is that squad, though? That's what I'm interested in seeing. Let's go. Because they're the ones that might be... Okay. Might be a challenge. Understood. At this point, I'm not feeling like they're going to be. But they could be. Okay, Sam Fox and the others. I hear them. Do not see them. All right. So that was our explosive entrance into this base with a lot of Rogue XCOM. But that is going to be it for this episode of that plays XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. That's right. I told you I'm recording this in the morning. I got stuff to do. Uh, if you enjoyed this one, though, make sure to let me know by giving it a like. If you haven't already, feel free to subscribe. Go on see more because it'll keep coming. It won't stop till it does. And then it will. And then something else will come. And you'll enjoy that, too, because I ask you to. Thanks again for watching this episode of XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Slet. We're going to take down this base next time. And I'll see you in the next video. Everybody owes. Yo.